them in the building for 20 years already. It's right. one of the most expensive, exclusive, high-class building in Manhattan. Okay, before we bought it, I promised my father, I'm the only sibling who live in the United States. I'm gonna move to one of the best buildings. I'll be very okay, okay, to get old and settle down, okay? Then it was peaceful until four years ago, all right? And I thought I can count on it. I can stay there until I drop. All right, unfortunately, the upstairs neighbor paid big money to get in. And then before you know, I realized that the owner there had the big ambition to demolish every single wall door floor for over 35,000 square feet. I was never warned, okay, four years ago, bing, bing, bang, bang. Just, and then reconstruction until now, several months ago, it finally finished, they're moving, all right? It's not that, I knew it's one of the best buildings, and I had intention to live there peacefully. I had not been expecting such a big, fat surprise, all right? And so it's been very stressful and takes a toll in my emotions about human being. All right, that's about it. The issue of noise started with the demolition. Then I was hoping once they finish demolition, when it comes to reconstruction, it'll be peace. But no, no, no. All right, of course, I knew for a fact the contractor did not do according to the standard of, or the construction rules and the material use. They've been shortchanged, all right? And I was told that since they changed all the water pipes, the water pipes, by the standard way, this, you were insulated by sand, but the contractor did not. So they, they insulate with concrete. So then I was warned by the superintendent, then the superintendent, going to have the noise issue. Sure enough, I used to sleep bedroom number one, the pink bedroom. So before you know, yes, day and night, whoever, my downstairs or next door neighbor, they flush the toilet, turn off, I say, bang, bang, bang. All right? It's yes. called hammering noise. So I, well, I said something is not correct. Before then, it was really quiet. So I have to hire the forensic engineer to come. So he said, all right, you need a sound expert. For that, we're putting, they're putting the most sensitive recording machine. They did it. Day and night for that, we had to move out of the apartment to stay in a hotel or to just take off. I go to Hong Kong they, so that they can record the noise day and night. So finally, yes, they validate. It is the banging noise, they said. So then, where does it come from? The board pay no attention to it. Let it drag, drag, drag on, all right? So here I'm the victim. Then I say, wow, it's a losing cause for me here. My quality of life has gone down so much. So I, I took it off. I just take it. I left, I went back to Hong Kong to stay there for two months. Hopefully it'll improve, but it just never did, all right? So when I came back, it was a losing battle. So my lawyer number one tells me, I'm going to resign from your case. Why? Because in your building, all your board members, they want to belong to the billion dollar club. I can't win. So I was very disappointed. I was disillusioned. I was depressed. Okay, so what can I do? There's an issue and it's there. I did not make it up. They resigned. He resigned. Okay, I can give you the name. But anyway, so, okay, so I searched with all the big names, all my friends, they said, okay, Adam Bailey. He's volatile, he's good, and he's expensive. That part, I, okay, I can manage. So there we go. I was lucky. I, oh, I think Adam Bailey interviewed me for 10 minutes. I'm expensive, but I'm good. I said, okay, that's why I make the move. And then I was very lucky when he introduced me to Joanna Pack. I knew right away something hit me, our vibe hits, all right? And from there on, we're like family members. I can communicate with her. And she's always there. She's so focused. She listens to my problem. She's so damn brilliant, okay? She knows already, separate the issue, she approached it. Okay, 
every morning I give a call with all my complaint issues. She already got it. She said, don't worry, okay, we're going to do this, dun, 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 dun. So I, it's been how many years? Two years now, right? Two and we're getting results. And for one issue, it's a win for us, that Marshall Butler. And I got my money back. So thanks to you, Joanna Peck. <laughs> so now the remaining is for my upstairs neighbor. It's a nasty one. But I'm worn out. But I think she has something that she want to tell me. It was a really big headache, and I knew it was going to be quite complicated to unresolve it. All right? But at least one issue is gone. All right? There's two, there was two cases. He, he was very honest with me, okay? He, he, he knew he cannot help me. He can still drag on by wasting my money. He looked into the politics there. Oh no, that's not for me, okay? So I told him, you're being very nice. I like your kind of people, okay? But it's okay, I have to be strong. There is an issue and I have to come up with somebody who can really fight for me. And that's Adam Bailey's team. The first meeting, I remember, I, it's not here, the other place, the old place. <clears throat> and Adam Bailey interviewed me, all right? He said, I'll take on your case. I said, fine, so on and so forth. And I'm how much of that? Well, I said, everything's okay, Kate. Somehow, I had the gut feeling he'll do the job, all right? I was so determined. I'm going to stay on it, with it. And I would just, however much money it's, I have to spend, I'll do it. But I'm a principal person, okay? We get there, okay? I know there's two issues here, okay? So I said, just be calm, Miranda, be patient. All right, let's be very open with our dialogue. We, we did. And so far, I'm very happy. Very pleased, actually. A mission accomplished for one issue, and that's because Joanna Peck. She works day and night, and she's always, every step of the way, she's with me, all right? And the other issue, I know it's going to be a little bit difficult because upstairs, they're sort of arrogant, aloof, and calculated. Jeff Betts, John Desiderio, oh, all these wonderful people. I feel very secure, and I know I can count on them. It's the confidence in me. Miranda, go for it. That's what it is. And then with Adam Bailey's law firm, I feel very confident. It takes time, and I believe in them. We'll get there. To you. Oh, yes, and it's a day and night. She's like my sister. If I emailed her, she'll call me even Saturday night. I say, what are you doing Saturday night? She called me, oh, no, let's get on with the issue. But I said, no. You get on with David, your husband, okay? <laughs> and we'll talk on Monday. <laughs> so that's what it's been going on. They make me feel very comfortable, very comfortable, confident, and also not to worry, not to be stressed out. Everything can be resolved. The temporary restraining order is still in place from a year ago now, Maria. So for at least over a year. our bedroom areas are quiet, all right? <clears throat> but there's still some remaining minor issue, which I think down the road we have to resolve. Now that Adam Bailey's office made my upstairs neighbor to pay attention to us, that's the important part. The building was more or less, okay, leave her alone because she's, she's, she complains a lot. Nobody really come to my side to hear me out. But this time with Adam Bailey's office, he understand my headache. Now he said, no, I have to come home visit you and let me hear the updating situation, all right? So which I'm very gratified to Adam Bailey's office. It had been very frustrating and hurting to me because the board many years ago they don't care to listen to me, knowing there probably is an issue there, but nobody cares, all right? And I feel very lost. And here, I've spent enough money on other legal, other law firm, but nobody can do any, even approach the board, that's the thing, okay? Then I say, oh, oh, oh perhaps 
this is United States, even though I'm American citizen. This is not a place that I should just count on living until I drop. I was thinking maybe I should just pack up and move back to Hong Kong, where the rest of my family is, and I can live very comfortably. Adam Bailey's office come, then I said, wait, wait. There's a hope there, the China pack, okay? And this has been my home for the last how many years? 50 years. And I said, well, there's hope, and sure it is. I'm very thankful. I was desperate and I was so depressed, I was so hurt because nobody would listen to me in my building. Okay, all the rejection and then old people would start the room, oh, don't, don't listen to her, she's a senile woman. <laughs> and when the oldest, most well-known building in Manhattan, all the super, they know how much I have suffered. So they all come to tell me we're with you. So actually they're the ones who tell me what upstairs the contract has done not correctly. This is what I was, the information was from them. All right, and now of course, and I said, everybody's relieved, okay? With the law firm behind me, and then upstairs, they know. They've gone way above their limit. They have to pay attention, that's what it is. This makes the world's difference. I will highly, highly recommend Make sure you pick the correct, qualified, and also one of the best Adam Bay. After four years, my courage, my energy has built up to its high, high point now. And then with last few months, it was all the good news coming one after another. Well, I think the, the thing is, I'm a woman with means, but you need the right partner, the correct law firm. That's what it is. Well, they gave me the strength and courage.